Hello everyone. It is a beautiful Friday. It's warmed up. I'm at the uh, base of the mountain fortress. Uh, I got a nasty road right there on my little old car. And so much work to do, so much. I figured I needed a little friend. So can anybody guess who my little friend is? No, nah, it wasn't Les. His friend uh, he may be a little bit bigger than little, maybe. But I wonder, wonder if you can tell what my little friend is. <laughs> it's the Sani Excavator. Awesome. I, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I asked Dave if I could borrow his uh, uh, loader, I mean, excavator, not loader, excavator. And he said, yeah, and he said, no problems. And I gotta say, thanks, Dave. So this is gonna be awesome. I can fix up my road. We can get the uh, excavation out uh, in my yard taken care of, the cleanup and everything. And this baby, this awesome Sani is gonna do the job. Uh, this is the same Sani that I almost rolled off the road on the mountain three quarters of the way up. But luckily with a lot of, uh, how do I say, bucket downhill and sliding this thing sideways for 40 feet before I could get it back fully on the road, it was a nail biter. But she's back and she's beautiful. All right, well, I'm going to start her up and start working on this road right here. We, uh, I don't know if you can tell, all this is like washed sediment that came down from that big rain. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of the repairs where I can. Uh, later on, I'll have to get like uh, the big Michigan loader down here to bring material in to fix it up. So it's time to get working. Okay, let's start her up. Nice. Now I'm going to open up the window. Nice.
Works great. The uh, Sandy I got right here, if anybody knows, there is like a three foot groove right here that went right across the road. And my poor little car has just had the undercarriage beat up with it. So I've got all this filled in. And I'm going to fill in, keep going, and then up ahead, I'm going to uh, dig out a uh, diversion trench so if the rain hits us pretty hard again it diverts it off the side so uh, i'm really happy with this so been a couple hours and i got uh, probably about uh, two-thirds of the road up to the depot uh repaired but uh, sun's going down got the lights on there's a sandy sun going down so i am going to stop for now and then we'll continue when i come back tomorrow i'm back and it's another day what's nice about this is uh, i've been working on the excavator to fix the road and uh all the gigantic cuts in the road are all gone and I got a nice smooth ride. I've tested it a couple times with the Nissan here and it is really, really nice. And uh, up here is where the biggest issue was and uh, that's like right, right over here because the water would run down here and just wash the road right out or cut huge grooves in it. This poor Nissan has more uh, uh, <laughs> dings on the bottom than uh, <laughs> probably anything I've got. So yeah, it took me a little while. I cut the, uh, the line right along the edge of the road there to divert all the water off of the road. And then right here, this used to be a gigantic hole right here where the water rushed to the right side and then back to the left. This was like mud pit area. And a uh, little bumpy right in here because of the different uh, thicknesses of the dirt or the densities. But uh, uh, it took, this is about six hours of work, maybe seven. And uh, yeah i was able to fix a lot of this i mean there was a lot of stuff that was uh, uh barely could make it in the car and then in the winter time it was just almost impossible so i'm really happy that i got the uh the sandy excavator that was one thing i needed to do now i've got to work out on building the uh uh the parking lot area and excavating down on it so uh just did a quick test here Got back up to where the Sony is, and I'm gonna move over to where I'm gonna excavate. Now before I get excavating, I had to fix our uh, forklift here, cause from uh, last uh, weekend, hydraulic hose right here failed. So I've just put it back in, a uh, little bit of work, got it all back in there. And while I was at it, I changed the transmission filter. So, transmission is being a little weak, so maybe uh, the filter was plugged. Hard to tell, easiest way, spend like, what, 18 bucks, replace the filter. So I'm gonna see if my hose repair uh, has, has uh, worked, or if it's gonna be a failure. Let's see, I mean, can't really expect too much to fail. I mean, I guess it could pop out of the end, but so I'm gonna start this up and then test it out. I'm gonna test the tilt function and see if my line is working. 
Uh, let's go down and check for any leaks. Well, let me bounce it a little bit. filter housing uh, it's got some oil on it but it was oily to begin with I need a rag to check it so everything looks good I think I can move down move a couple things and then get back on the excavator well I'm here on the depot parking lot got the sani up I've been doing a little bit of work haven't shown much uh, sort of forgot about uh, turning the GoPro on probably did uh, should have done an overview but if you see on the depot the parking area is right here. Now, unfortunately, all the way down there is approximately 88 inches lower than where I'm currently standing. So I have dug a trench here to do some measurements to see right here, I need to go down 88 inches. So I've been digging down and right there, about 84 inches, I need four more inches. There's a hard rock layer of, that's probably about two feet thick. Pretty hard to get through. Once you get through it, it's easy, easy underneath. So the day is getting short. So I'm going to call it a day. And then tomorrow should have a little bit of help. Uh, and uh, we can see what else we can get. And at least see if we can uh, get something cleared out. And at least what the new level here looks like. Because basically... Uh, Quite a few, quite a bit of dirt got to be removed, but once we get all the way down there, it'll be almost no dirt to move. So going from basically 88 inches down to where we're going to call it true level down there. So it's a lot of work. And one of the big things I need is I need to get a way to be able to transport fuel to the old Sani. But uh, I'll come in tomorrow and we'll continue from there. Hello, we got a nice, awesome Sunday, and it looks like my face is in <laughs> the <Hold> shadows. <laughs> and uh, Les here has come up, and uh, I, start, I was working here this morning, and this is actually what the level should be all the way back. So my whole parking lot depot was off on this side about 88 inches going back to zero as i just mentioned uh yesterday so i've got it dug down here right at the bottom of that uh, block is the 88 inches down and then i put my line in and the 88 inches goes to the top well right in between the two blocks so basically I use a string for all my leveling and that little level right on the string. So when you use a string, always put the level right in the middle because the string will bow a little bit. Not much, but to be the most accurate, you want it right in the middle. So we're slowly taking out this, this level of the parking lot to bring it down and uh got a lot of material in this corner to move but i'm not going to go all the way back quite yet but uh still it's going to just start heading this way and as soon as i got enough built up here we'll just move the various vehicles that we're saving here so we don't have to move them twice and just keep filling in all the way so we'll be from this height here all the way to where the uh a little bit past the RV because the RV is a little high and uh, that will be the level so it's a lot of work to do but the uh, Sandy's uh, just doing an awesome job so I'm gonna get working a little more on the Sandy and then we've got a few more things to work on like the forklift since it's having issues running and also bring over the big Michigan loader because we're gonna need that loader all right here we go
Okay. Was a tight fit this unit is bigger than i figured and they barely made it through on the road there and in comparison you got this forklift right here and that's a pretty big forklift uh, and this thing is just a beef bigger i mean i don't know how wide that is i have to measure it here let's see uh one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, about 11 feet wide, that bucket. So just made it past. And my little ram charger there, we were like just barely touching it as we went by. So I need to get that uh, Michigan loader to come out here and work, but we've got to make a little more space for that thing to move around in because it. Uh, it doesn't like to turn uh, very uh, sharp on these uh, in here. I mean, it needs some space to move around. But we should make that space here not too, not too long. We just got a little bit of work. And uh, well, little work, a lot of work. day a lot of work in the sandy but uh, I got it dug all the way out uh, and then all the way in right here uh, less help me we've got we use a string we bought we got marks on uh, where our level should be and uh, 
it was awesome that I was able to uh, run the uh, Michigan loader. It's such a beast though, and the steering is, uh, it, you know, it works great, but it just does not have a big turning radius. So as soon as I can clear out more here, and I can get the uh, Michigan loader uh, to move, have enough space to move around, I can move a lot of the material faster. But we got to get working down that way, which means I got to clean up this area right here. Um, put some, uh, uh, we found that the loader, not the loader, the forklift was super low on transmission fluid. I thought I checked it like the day before, but I don't know what I did because uh, I thought I could uh, detect it with my finger because you have to open up a plug. It was pretty low. We put about three gallons in, so it seems to move okay. I haven't really tested it, but hopefully that solves the problem with it having problems moving. So Sandy's been doing an excellent job. I think actually, as far as it's doing really good with fuel consumption because all this work today, it looks like I'm just about like 25 gallons of diesel fuel, maybe 30. So all this work with only that much fuel, it's a pretty efficient machine. So I really got to thank, uh, I can't thank Dave uh, Sparks enough for letting me use this thing. It is just, uh, I mean, I was planning on doing this with the, uh, uh, my big John Deere, but the poor thing is just so slow and I haven't had a time to diagnose the issue. Because it seems to me, I think the issue is the pump. Some people, the pressure regulators, don't really know yet how to do that and I just haven't had time. So, well, we'll just keep uh, working on this, but that'll be all for this video today. It is like beautiful out here right now. The sun is amazing. I mean, we're gonna show you that and it's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's really nice being out here and I gotta give big thanks to Les for helping me. Uh, it makes a, a lot of help, especially if I'm in the excavator digging down in hard rock and he, we got the level line down, he can like tell me I need to go down a little bit farther because otherwise I'd have to like stop and run down and then put level line. But this, it's amazing with the help, a little bit of help. So, all right, I'd like to thank everyone for watching and uh, please subscribe. Uh, please hit the like if you like this video because the money on that pays for the fuel for this Sani. And uh, hit the notifications and I'll see you again on the next video.